podcast radio and stuff Well, we, we keep on counting. Uh, I'm a guest uh, too. Uh, welcome to Podcast Radio and Stuff. Yet it's another episode. It's going to be a beautiful one once again. And we have another interesting guest. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. And also thank you for sharing the page later. I'm never alone and I was never going to be alone for today's episode. I'm sure you guessed me. I'm sure you guessed me. I'm sure you guessed me. I'm sure you as a show to back on. 100%. 100%. We have to be here because mm. I foresee today being a master class when it comes to radio um, because it's the person that we have um, is someone that has been on radio since 1992, 1993. But it's someone that has been on radio for over three, I mean, three decades. Wow. That's a very long time. Yeah. That is a very, very long time. And just to introduce him, we've never really had this introduction before for any of our guests, but we have to do it today. As if, as if, as if you are giving him the podium. Yes, <laughs> you know, as a praise singer. Yeah. <laughs> he is a radio presenter, radio manager, radio coach and trainer, an author, voiceover artist, an all-round great guy, and that radio guy. That is my cozy cause. Nijan. Ah, it's a feel of this. Go, can you watch that? <laughs> and you're looking good, eh? Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, so about, I wasn't sure. Actually, <laughs> the problem with Izzy, the final is I was like, okay, do I dress up? Do I dress down? I was like, uh, let me show you mix and match. Who's who? When? Local by Yeah, that's the nice thing about this space that we are in. Amen. Wow. I know. I, I feel at home. Thank you for honoring the invite. I no no problem of no problem no problem no problem yeah yeah no it's amazing to have you man you know uh, I'm just listening to Ndobego going back to 1993 and we are now 20 24 1991 1992 1992 that is when you started in radio yes oh, yes I remember Minangalu Gwazi as my cousin because I've been East Coast you know the Ilang Alekona Gwazi Umakosi Koz Usagaza with East Coast Makosi Koz and this guy who was just you know a ship league on a on East Coast Jail Portela remember Makosi this is Kati East Coast was known as Isteshi Sabilu Kunjar and that is Kati you know and now they are they are transforming. There is a lot of abasagas about Abamia Manjengam now. But at that particular time, and um, you know, Uncle Mude Kuluma about this guy, Umakosi Koza. Where were you before that? Um, hmm. Nikala Goop. Utalinga Mopunyagi East Coast. So I'd have to go back and forward. So East Coast was 97. His course was 97. 97. And I think the other reason why Abantu, Abaning, Umamba, Kulumang, Umdomyam, they speak about me. I was yeah. actually the second uh, black person on East Coast. Okay. Or, was Team Tabet. Inking yes. a team me began again on the weekend. Okay. So I was the first one weekday. Weekday, yes. And then first one on breakfast. Yes, so, uh, I so, so there the were a lot of firsts. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and throughout shows, so I did Weekend Graveyard and, you know, 1912, and, 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 and. Yes. But, I um, think that figure, it was UND, Monday, say, Sababiza, no UKZN. Okay. So, I nang figure, 92, I found a group of Mali, discovered that there was a community radio station. Baby's on a dome, and um, I joined in Atlanta as a uncle. I'm going to bang for me. Let's know. I'll say as so born now. Yeah, and then at the end of that year, the giant is a yaza. Let's what team. Yeah, I'm going to let a young to my hey ma. As we got things, Sarah's. Oma and Agatam was a good Begunja and his calling into Ma, begat in Sagas. Get about school. And then I was like, Yo, how, how, where else can I practice? So, Eswatin at the time, there was, um, I can, 
how can I explain it? So like SAPC. So yeah. either Osaratang is Swati, Noma Nisingis. Okay. So I opted to see if I could get into the English channel. It was called SBIS at the time. Okay. Saleo, end of year, Banu Batatama leave. So then I got into to like as an intern. Yeah. But the point was, Ngakala Saga's a campus radio, 92. Yeah. In Durban. Yeah. I get home, Eswatini, uh, December, I'm on air on national radio. And at the time, born, it was literally like a, a, a proper roster. So he roster ya kombe kutu ungene ksen, ungene min, ungene ntabam. So literally I went prime time first year. Wow. 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 So, so from, 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 from that campus radio, I then got to, um, Capital Radio. Yeah. Uh, okay. 94, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> 94, 95. 96, I think, Stesh Saval, a day before my birthday. That's how I remember. Yeah. In fact, I was so traumatized that uh, the last day of the show, uh, um, Kenny Maestri wanted me on Don and Hot Show. I, I never pitched. Mm. Um, and then I was jobless for about a year until I joined East Coast in 97 uh, November. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's 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 where the start was. And uh, East Coast was for nine years. Nine years, yes. Nine years straight until I got mm, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which a lot of people find strange, but I was just bored. You were bored. So um, now, uh, when you 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 joined East Coast. At that particular time, uh, because uh, in general, man, the radio stations are similarly to what we're going to do with such as competitions, yep. uh, such as which uh, was recorded with social media platform, yep. which I highly recommend. Uh, those who want to get into radio, do what is being done now. Get cut is it to see now when we demo. You understand? Yeah. When we demo, then you will send your demos through an email or through a CD. Mm. So it'll. Uh, 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 how did you get into East Coast? Did they headhunt you or how did you apply? Uh, first and young, Mr. Gaze. Yeah. <laughs> so, what people need to really understand is that um, the closure of Capital Radio is, is a very, very monumental and historical moment. Yeah. As, a, as an independent commercial station, yeah. as on medium wave. Yeah. Right. And the legends that were there, because if you, you, there's no way you can talk about legends uh, on, on, on any station in, in South Africa yes. without having dipped in the Capital Radio pool. Definitely. And I was there for the last two, three years. Yeah. And at that point in time, as you, you'd laugh, I'd find old people trying to put demos and CVs together. But there's a typewriter. <laughs> Kenny Maestri. I love you, Kenny, but I must speak the truth. <laughs> Kenny Maestri, everybody was doing a demo. Kenny even did one in a spoon. Wow. Mm. On a cassette tape. Mm. To send out demos. But like the station was closing down and well, so where do we go to? to? So, so what I did was, I think I probably did that as well. And I actually got a call. Yeah. Uh, and then the call was, and I think I mentioned this in my book, that... When Capital Radio closed down, um, it was Kenny Maestri, Afternoon Drive, Just Ice was 7 to 10, Mina Abengena or 10, Pumanga Wana in that. Yeah. And I also did the Sunday Breakfast Show. Yeah. So when the station closed down, I was doing six shows. But when I got the call from East Coast Radio, hey, hey, we like how you sound. Inking out, we don't have slots. But there is this one slot, it's five hours. From midnight to five, from Kabel, are you interested? Mm. So, what would you do? Let's from six go. shows to graveyard. Mm. Mm. Being jobless for a year. Having uh, ha having now got a degree, because by the way, in Akrete, I got a become. Yeah. So I could go and apply. Yeah. Mami uh, Pencela somewhere. Yeah, and, and, but, and, and do a eight to, eight, eight to five job. But the radio bug yeah. bit. Because I had a flat, I had a car from radio. Yeah. Even before Njela Bandugut have got a big home. Yeah. And I was like, oh, why not? And I remember, let me just do the maths. 
um, it was maybe 40 rand an hour. So it was proper, proper intern graveyard. Mm. I said, no problem, I'll make it work. Yeah. So I think it was around, I think I, I, think I got about 800 rand a month mm. yeah. as a trainee, having been. Yeah. So, but the short answer to your question is, 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 yeah, I, 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 I submitted my demo on cassette, yeah. which was the only way in those days. Yeah. Um, and, and then I, I, I got the call, which is very yeah. different now. Yeah. And, and after that, uh, the rest is history. Moba says what you're in after East Coast, and then you went to Radio 2000, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, but you need to ask me that other question. When I said to you I was bored, how it got to Kaka. So you see, so, 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 we are spending this argument. Yeah. That, 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 that is experience. So, <laughs> let, let, me, let me school you in something. I know you have questions to ask. Yes. Yeah. But the most powerful thing you learn is to listen. Yeah. When I speak, then you can come back. Because, and I, and I said that deliberately, uh, because a lot of people, and it happened a lot in my career, where people were shocked at my moves mm -hmm. because it's not something they would have done themselves. Yes. But it depends on your wiring and makeup in general mood. I turned my back on Joburg twice. I turned my back on, on, on East Coast as the chosen black guy that everybody speaks about. Yeah. yeah. Because in Joburg, I said I was bored. Yeah. yeah. And I found that I literally did all the big shows, but give me, I had cracked the formula, which is why it seemed the same. Yes. And I realized one thing about myself is that I'm very cu curious and restless. Yeah. So if in the any time meal, I'm like, okay, what's next? Yeah. What can I learn? Yes. And I, I said to my wife at the time, I can't be doing this next year. Mm. Yeah. And it looks like the universe was listening mm. because I got a call from um, Pearl. Oh, yes, who said, I, yeah, so cool. Uh, yeah, who I said, remember, look, yes, um, you, I don't think you'll progress more than where you are. Mm. Come join and be program manager at Gagas. Mm. Yeah, so the universe answered my prayer something different. because I was bored and restless. And this, I think, is, is something I've come to know about myself is that if I'm feeling uncomfortable, I make the move, mm. which a lot of people don't understand. Because the thing about radio is it depends on why you're doing it, yeah. Unfortunately, Bantabaniing is due to be famous. When fame is a byproduct for of, why you are doing radio. of the gift you have. Yeah. Same thing can be said of actors. Some people get into the fame, but others, they just use that as a platform for the gift they have to share with the world. Mm. So I, I didn't need more fame. And I never did it for fame. And moreover, I never grew up wanting to be on radio. So I don't know what that's like. I, I, I just got there by accident. I love listening to radio, but I didn't want radio as a career. So I'm I'm, I'm an outsider yeah. who, who what's the fuss? Yeah. yeah. So I just do what I do. And then people go, hey, wow, there's a talent. I'm like, okay, yeah, bonga, but uh, it wasn't the goal, it wasn't yeah. the intention. So, so that is how I got to Kakasi, because of my bottom. And I put it out there in the universe, in the universe. Thankfully, this time I was listening. Yeah, and I was listening just now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just said, uh, yes. you, were not, yes. you were not hungry. And most people over yeah. say, but he, he, this is the only thing I've ever yeah. wanted to do. Yeah. This gentleman, why you listening to me, Sagas? Oh, Sagas, I'm going to make some good music. So, then how did you end up on radio? It's a pure mistake because let's not divorce not wanting to be on radio with being a fan of radio. Mm -hmm. I just loved radio. And as, as a I, listener. As a listener. Like there are many people now who listen on to radio. And worse, no, Quincy, and worse, in my time, radio was the internet. Yeah. Mm. Radio was movies, radio was technology, radio was TV. Yes. Before before TV there was radio. Mm. So I was just fascinated like everybody else. I was like, how how does this thing work? So um Jobang Mkazile, I had a plan to go and be a pilot. That was my dream. Radio thing was just nje there. You know, I loved the music, I loved listening to the radio. Uh so when I went, and this is a funny story, um, because I, I gave a talk 
to some students, SWAT team. Okay. And I said to them, I'm going to tell you about eight or nine things. Uh, the first thing I'll tell you is that I'm the least qualified person to be speaking in front of you. And the other thing I'll tell you is that I'm the most qualified person to tell you. And I unpacked it by saying, I'm the least qualified because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a university failure. Right? Yeah. And that was because when um, I, I, I chose piloting as a career, uh, was okay, sharp piloting, okay, physics, math, science, how about I BSc? But I mean, my plan was to try A levels, go flying school. Yeah. I my time, I, 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 I failed, I repeated, I failed. So you can't fail twice. Yeah. So I, I wasted four years. Mm -hmm. But in, then Ubaba said, okay, since you failed this, what can we do now? And I'm from the era, maybe old school, whereby if Utandi history, Kushukutia was a grammar, therefore try law. Yes. And yeah. that is how I applied to yeah. UKZN. UKZN, what happens? I discovered there's a community registration. Mm. So the link always has been, I had to go and fail in one degree mm. to excel in another degree I to find my you. purpose and calling. I get you. I understand you. I you, understand you, see, you. you see my point. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. all, it's all planned by God. No, it's, so, so I, I, I always tell people, never be arrogant mm. because awi mm. mm. You can't take credit for the talents when you didn't even birth yourself. Yeah. You can't take credit for your gifts and your blessings because they don't come from you. Yeah. They come from somebody else. You have the choice to use or abuse your gift. And that is all people have to discover their purpose, discover their gifts and share. Yeah. yeah. Because what you have is not yours to keep, but to share wow. because that shines a light on the person from whom they truly come from. Mm. Hey, this is why I'm patting myself on the back. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, because you are patting yourself on the back, yes. um, there is a currently she's the programs manager of course. Yep. Uh, Upel. Yes. Uh, and, and I, I, I think we are paralleling on phone on Facebook. Uh, you are the one who who introduced her to radio. Am I correct? Hundred percent. Yes, because she says uh, why 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 a university student at that particular time, and uh, I, I think she you, you, she used to debate with you a lot, uh, and then you brought her in as a producer. But you can share the story with us. So the mm. what I recall is that mm. Pearl was one of those people who are mm. Yeah. <laughs> like yes. her name, Pearl. Yeah. Pearl. Yeah. Email, email. Oh, I'm so and so, I'm so and so, love radio. At the time she was um a, a TV producer. Oh worked okay. for a, a TV production company called. Okay. And used to email me a lot. All right. And I was like, hey, okay, you've produced for TV, but you've never produced for radio. Mm. So if I if we do this, I'll be taking a chance. Okay. And she's like, no, what, what, what? I was like, well, um, I'm assembling the team. Okay. Uh, we're meeting tomorrow. So if you'd like to be a producer, you need to be in Durban tomorrow morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think what about my, the first bus? As I say, when this is when you uh, yes. uh, with so, so, so I hired, yes, mm -hmm. uh, a Pearl to be the first um, uh, producer of Alex in the Morning Crew. So that yes. is my association yeah, no. with her. Yeah. The yes. same way, unless the question is coming, mm -hmm. if you'll tell me who the current content specialist at Kakasi FM is. Ayanda. Which is Suga Pleonga. Ayanda Melansi. Wangena as a, a, an intern, can news when I was program manager. Mm -hmm. And news, Kakas. yes, and yes. news and sports and presenters reported to me. Yes. So I, I in cool Well, yeah, I know. Wow, and Igagas was your first uh, role in management. Yes, they took a chance on me. I don't know what they saw or heard, or but Jobang Shilo, I put it out there that I can't do this again. Mm. And then people saw something in me that I possibly couldn't see in myself. Mm. And this is something I've also talked about to say, to say, don't be jealous in exposing people to things they can't see themselves. Because the universe rewards those who are selfless. Mm. Because we all need to unearth the jewels and the treasures that are hidden deep inside us. Mm. Those who quickly find themselves, I say, but there are a lot of people walking around not knowing what they're 
their talents are because we need to unearth those blessings because that takes the human race forward. If you hide, it's like being rich and you're the only one who benefits from that richness. What's the point? You can only consume so much as a one human being. Mm. But if you share it, you get blessings because you bless other people. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. Now, earlier on, you said something very interesting. You said, what is coast Bati? They love the way a uh, you sound yeah. okay mm. when uh, you have been a problems manager yourself mm. you know because you are talking to many people right now who are radio lovers who want to be in radio mm. can you uh, touch on that at how important it is to make sure that you you, you sound radio Hmm? Your, your your voice, your projection, and, and so on. Because the, the reason I'm asking this question, projection writing for radio and so on. But I remember when I grew up, uh, my, my, my late grandmother, why was ah, I'm sorry, voice here, I, I hmm. You know, does. The, the sound of somebody's voice and their projection really matter in radio? So, that's a, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's a necessary question. Mm. Um, I have my own views mm. and the, the, the views may not be popular, but mm. a, a view not being popular doesn't necessarily make it untrue. Mm. If you understand. <laughs> <laughs> my, my belief is that um, radio is an art, it's a craft, it evolves. Yes. And there are people who unfortunately are holding radio back because uh, in holding radio back, it's a comfort zone. And if they step out into the unknown, they'll be exposing themselves and will be ignorant. Mm. But it's okay to welcome and embrace change. So radio has changed. The demands of management has changed the demands of presenters have changed. And if you are not aware of that, then you're fooling yourself. Mm. Yeah. Because I, I tend to say to people, um, if you come to me and the only gift you have is your voice, mm. then that, that, that voice, if that's the only thing you're bringing to the table, that is good enough for, for radio in the 80s, 90s, mm. maybe. Mm. So if, if that's all you bring to the table, it's not enough. Yeah. Um, so, so the illustration I normally use is, is in the good old days, Umsaka was an outcall. They were called announcers. Yes. Because they just announced the songs. Mm. Yeah. Hence the term, ah, let's back, you said, oh, let's back announce. Yeah. They, all they did was announce the songs. All mm. right. Then it was like, hey, Progression is, we want these guys to do more than just play music. They must have some content. Yeah. Then if you put something together, then it means it's a presentation. Mm -hmm. So then we, uh, we were then in the era of the radio presenter because you presented a show. And then they looked around and discovered, hey, you know what? People um, get a lot of love in the clubs. So let's get some radio DJs in. Which is why I saw that man. I'll come back to that. Yeah. Because in my father's house are many mentions. So there's room for everybody. Yeah. So from presenter, you you then got um what's the other one now? Um so announcer, presenter, DJ, um talent. What is talent? Talent is where we are now in that you want somebody who ticks all the boxes that radio requires. Mm -hmm. Because radio of today is not the radio of 10 years ago. Mm. Okay. So you can't come here with a 2014 mindset because you're you not going to survive. Mm. Right? So talent is somebody who will be amazing on air, online, and off air. Somebody who will be able to mingle and convince advertisers to sign up. Yeah, those people don't grow on trees. Yeah, so in the in the in the in the content in the in the talent era of all the things I've mentioned, how much of that is actually about the voice? Yeah, very, very small. I get you. I get you. And 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 stations have then moved one step further 
yeah. to say we don't even hire talent. They hire co- they hire content creators. Yeah, mm. not the level. So now there are many wonderful presenters all over the world. Yeah, even in South Africa, right? But I like to use people I'm familiar with. Yeah, as a, okay. as, a as a reference point. Okay. So for example, Felix Klopp. All right. Love the guy to bits for many reasons. Um, so. Do you know the, 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 the talent of people who get into their car after the show and drive and do a live all the way home? Mm. What has that got to do with the voice? Absolutely nothing. Mm. That is talent. All right. That is content because their talent is enough living in the digital space. Yeah. So when you hire or when I hire, I look at all these boxes. Yeah. You're going to tell me, yeah, I've got a great voice. Okay, can you do this? 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 If the answer is like, no, then you are a great radio person in 1994. Wow. Now, some Because all you are giving me is just your good voice yes. and, 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 and Beck announcing a song and telling me the history of the song and it ends there. I was once at a, at a workshop in Kumblangi, Nimenyo, Pumlandube, and one of the people who were there, the delegates, refused it was 2023 refused to have a facebook page because he was like no 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 it's the mic yeah i'm like mm. just get out of that mindset yeah so some people are holding on to the mic radio is now beyond the mic, the mic. so when and and and, and just to, to give you another example yeah. um, and i hope i'm answering the question is when i hire somebody when i was in a position to hire somebody Sure, I get to hear what they sound like and whatever. First thing I do is I go to their social media. Okay. Because on demos, I want to buy cash. Mm. And they try to be the thing they think you want them to be. All right. But on their digital platforms, they are free. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't think you are watching. Because sometimes they think what they are is not good enough. And they've got to transform on radio. And to be something else. Which is why you get people sounding like other people because that's the way things are supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what they grew up hearing. Then they figure, hey, to be there, to this be there, I'm a should sound. The same way mm. Linda Spear has killed people's dreams. Ask me how. How? Because when people get onto radio, they want to be because he was one of the biggest we all do that and I think also Eminem said that is that when you get into the game you obviously imitate those who are in the game to understand the flow but you need to find your voice people some people never find their voice Mm. and they're stuck being second rate Port Lozas second rate uh, Kansas City second rate Bob Mabenas because they're not themselves those who are in slow jam exactly yeah Yeah. because the original is there yeah Mm. So, so because people now and this is something we need to learn quickly you are good enough with your blessings but don't try and imitate somebody else's blessings try harder to find your own so to your point for example one of the strengths of Felix I'm sorry to use him as an example yeah. is that besides the radio he's also a comedian yes yeah. Eddie Zondi was never a comedian yeah but he had his space yeah yeah it was mostly the voice but also he was perfectly suited for the show yeah. It wasn't demanding. It was a lifestyle oriented show. Yeah. Chilled, laid back, Sunday we know the story. Yeah. The same way, and I said I'd come back to my father's mention the many yeah. houses, uh, rooms, yeah. rooms. Yeah. Because you can't have a station that's just full of talent. You need to a degree. Then you need presenters. You need DJs. So the first thing when I do and I look and assess the station is to say, in terms of the range of what we need, prime shows, do they have content creators, do they have talent? All right. Okolo DJ. Mm. Sounding. And then those who are there, have they found their own voice or they're trying to be like somebody else? Because I understand the game where to get to the next level, you figure you need to imitate somebody and then as a boner because you sound like somebody. Find yourself, define yourself, find your voice. Trust me, it's good enough. The dumb managers, and I can say this because I'm freelancing, I'm not linked to any station. <laughs> <laughs> dumb managers find a shortcut to hire people who sound like somebody else. Mm. Instead of finding something unique that they will own because people can only get it on their platform. Yeah. The same way, not so smart managers will get into my one of my favorite topics which is influences 
yeah. hiring influencers because you're taking a shortcut to get numbers. Mm. But so how, how, how do you balance between an influencer and a content creator? So it's very simple. You need courage. Mm. Because even when you're in the program manager's position, you report to somebody else. Yes. And then somebody else will say, we're a commercial station, we need numbers. Mm. Yes. That's the first thing. Yeah. So sometimes your talent is good at the craft, but they don't translate to advertisers. Mm. Yeah. The same way now, radio is so cutthroat that people want people who will get them quick numbers and numbers in terms of listenership and revenue, which is the bottom line. Yeah. So what they do is they hire influencer because they say, see somebody has got maybe 2 million followers. Yeah. But those mo- followers don't always come Follow. to radio. Yeah. And there are so many examples of that. Yeah. But, but what people don't know, and I know this because I'm in the business, mm. that's the first reason they're hired. Yeah. The second reason is that the station then says to advertisers, guess who we've got? Mm. Spend yeah. money. So it's a marketing ploy yeah. for the station to get money on the back end. Yeah. So even if the listeners don't come, the station will get money because of who's on the lineup. Mm. All right. Because now what happens is that um, advertisers pay influencers. Influencers are on social media. So if you can get a social media influencer onto the radio station, what happens? The money instead of going to the influencer comes to you. Yeah. Yes, the influencer gets a little something, but they get slightly less than if they would have been on their own. I get you. So it's a survival strategy. It's a revenue generation model. Yeah. So you can hate on them, but in Jobang, you show they also you also in programs have a boss to answer to. You can say, look, I suggest Tolun Tobago. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. But when you look at his social media following, it's poor. Yeah. Yeah, but I love the fact, Makosi, I'm going to give you a, a chance now, Tobago. Uh, I, I love the fact, Makosi, you know, you, you spoke about talent. Yeah. And you spoke about boxes that need to be ticked. Mm. And I think for anybody who's, who's watching right now, community radio somewhere. You know, uh, a I've got the voice, I take that. Mm. Then uh, do I have content? You know, uh, as a show we take our boxes. It's it's called working on yourself. Mm. So everybody who wants to to go to a bigger station, they owe it to themselves to work. On themselves because I usually say to the guys, remember Uguti, you can't go to Umakosi as a program manager and expect him to hire you because a uh, Usuna five years in the industry and you are talented. It is about what you are bringing on the table. Mm. What are you gonna offer mm. to the station? You know, so that is w- w- what it's all about. Mm. It's a pity though because yeah. sometimes you've got to wait your turn. Yeah. I understand why people want to get on radio. It's because also they are limited spaces. Yeah. Then again, we will get into the famous stories. Because I understand the game because it's, it's actually access to another world. Mm. Yeah. Being in media and being famous is just access to another world, which is why it's very, very competitive. Yeah. Uh, but I find other people get in and they're not talented and you can see they're not talented and the whole world knows they're, talent, they're not talented but they're there but ah, what can I we can do? name names <laughs> maybe you don't have to maybe Makosi has someone in mind <laughs> an example no <laughs> no no that person on in charge huh? <laughs> uh, 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 so let me not disturb that but you, you know it's like you, you touched on something about how some people will say, uh, I've got X amount of experience on a particular radio station. Mm. And, okay, I'm going to say something that I'm often accused of, and I don't know if it's true. <laughs> and this is on social media. They say, I'm very, very brutal in answering people. Mm. And I'm like, I don't think I am. But what I think I am is very passionate and aware of what this medium is and what you need to do to be successful. 
So I don't want Mickey Mouse's to come in and take chances. Mm. The same way, you see that there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a fine line between Ukuta Zumontu and then just saying, talent aliku, try something else. Mm. Or to say, which is a middle ground, why do you think radio needs you? Which is a harder question. I know you need radio, but does radio need you? Mm. Yeah. Sometimes it's not your time. Other times, it's like case of chiefs. If you want to get into case of chiefs, there's only so many people they can take at any one time. Yeah. So you need to bide your time. But coming to the point I don't want to lose is that when people say, "I've got X amount of years working in a particular radio station. I've been doing breakfast." Mm. The question is, okay, this is where my brutal honesty comes in. Mm. You've been doing breakfast radio at a community station or whatever station, but at what level? Mm. You can't come into radio, in my humble opinion, on a long service award uh, basis. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know at what level you've been performing. All right. Because the danger with radio is that people then treat it like what happens on idols. Mm. It's like, on what basis? It's like, because um, it's like, no, you can't do that. So you can't come to me because your friend says you're talented and you've been talented and doing it for 20s. I'm like, let me hear and I'll tell you what I think. Have you ever been wrong? Me? Yeah. How um, about someone that you thought they were not talented and you found that... Kini <laughs> Shandu. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I wasn't wrong. Um, I think... But the short answer to your question, I'm, I'm not perfect. Mm. I have been wrong a couple of times. But I think the, the desire is to be wrong less and right more often. Mm. And that's what you hope for. What happened with Guinea? So Guinea was, um, was like Pearl. Okay. Why well, Pearl is Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I understand the excitement that everybody had in it wanting to get DYR. to... I don't know, possibly. Oh, uh, okay, I can't remember. He'll come in and tell us. So everybody yeah. wanted to get into Kakasi because everybody's like, yo, yeah. Kakasi, this, 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 this. Uh, can I just take a detour quickly and come back to Guinea? Sure. Mm -hmm. It was so bad that uh, you asked me a question about demos. Yeah. There was one guy, which you might recall, he was doing a, a drive show at a community station, Washo and Hashem. And I think one of the things, if I give clues, the Angas Bega Petro is CPC for. And Wakorela Gustamit. Oh, yeah, no, I remember the guy. Yeah. Yes, that yeah, guy. I remember. Yeah. He came there with his entourage. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Koza, Mr. Koza. Promise you, Tans? I'm not going to mention okay. names. You work okay. it out. No, but it's not. Oh, Mlali. Okay, let's go. Right. <laughs> so watch it. Mr. Koza, Mr. Koza. I eat them on now, Mr. Koza. I'm telling you, get a bottom, Mr. Koza. I'm going to make them links. I'm going to make them I shut my eyes. This yeah, guy did a demo live. Get it I don't get a boardroom. I know. I shut my eyes. Who's the entourage? Whoever his people are. Okay. Bangan back. Yeah, I just want to know you know. No, no, no. Sang it up. About Nabo. Nabo. Okay. Oh, Jay, okay. crew, yeah, I could not know. I I'm going to talk about the loan. Right. Yeah, he doesn't travel alone. All right. I closed my eyes and you know who I heard? I had Linda Spear. Yeah. So he had the same problem. Yeah. In that he didn't bring himself there. He brought somebody else he thought I wanted to hear. Linda Spear no sebulala makeri as a band. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Coming back to Guinea. So Guinea, Guinea, I think he sent a demo and I thought it was terrible. I didn't understand a word this guy was trying to say. It just didn't make sense. Mm. And <laughs> I recall actually saying to him, never, ever, ever, ever contact me again. <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't see the whole, I couldn't see mm. whatever. But as it turned out, after I had left, he then produced Alex and the Morning Crew. Mm. Yes. So, Ukini, to be a co host. Uh, two, two, three. Wangena, I think sharpened his radio mind because at that point in time he was not ready to be a presenter yeah. never ready so I was not wrong in what I heard but I was wrong in terms of what's my printing contact no not even that it's like, like if, if he had given up on himself 
Yeah. He would have never pursued. Yeah. So what he did when when the 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 presenter window closed, he opened the content production. Mm. And that's the problem. People just want um bob um bob um bob um bob. Yeah. I, 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 in fact, I would like you to elaborate on that. In radio, you you have been in management. There are many entrances. Yeah. I remember uh, just to mention another presenter uh, Umzoko Loko at some point yep. uh, Kozi, he was doing um course mm. uh, we show ya mm. you we understand I remember very well um course. I, but he I, never caught I never knew that yeah no I remember him mm. 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 he used to do um course but uh, and then uh, you know but at that particular time he was still part of DYR mm. you know so but I know I'm, I, I know many people even 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 Usel Beyonce who's with Ukozi's drive now she was doing a contribution on Kakasi then from Kakasi she went on to do a contribution because we top 20 are gone wait 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 wait, yeah. wait. come here sell Beyonce yeah hi Selby love you yeah, I think. Actually, uh, Selby will be having an, an episode with Selby soon. That will be, oh, that will be dropping. So, ask yeah. Selby this question. <laughs> All right, yeah. Sell Beyonce. Yeah. Attempted in one of your questions. Kakasi had a talent search. All I right. think they say workshop. Yeah. And I think Sell Beyonce entered. Yeah. And didn't make it. I remember at the time I was on the panel, but Petro Pohatu was there as well. Yeah. Didn't get on. She then, didn't make it. Really talent search. And then I subsequently left. Okay. But I remember we figure when this is in Dozak, Pam mm. And even then I was like, mm, uh, <laughs> mm, this. Mm, uh. But the point is, there's a time in season for everyone. Yeah, mm. So I agree. in in spite of the advice from the best people, if you truly believe in yourself. You will find your way. And you go and work on yourself. I mean, I, I've heard people say, mean, uh, oh, great voice uh, for nighttime. Go in. So if I had believed that, mm -hmm. when the opportunity came to do breakfast, I'd have said, no, 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 hey. not to me. I'm a night guy. Yeah, I get you. Yes. You know, I, I love the stories that you're sharing, um, starting with Ukini, uh, Nocel Beyonce. No, you just want people to train. No, 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 no <laughs> not at all. But what I love about those stories yeah. is because Mundo Buga and Jinga Manje, Baninga Banda Sebechelwe Uguti no, be it radio or something else that you love. But your, I think the lesson from what you are saying is don't give up on yourself. Um, so, so, sorry, um, I'm, I'm remembering something else. How I I I I got my first job mm. on Capital Radio in Sase Nuves. So formats change how people and stations recruit. I think is one of it was one of your earlier questions. On 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 um, Capital Radio, right? Station that shut down many years ago. Um, sorry. When. I was on DYR at the time. Um, I heard lots of people anxious to see a particular guest who had been invited into the station. And you must remember that our sister station at DYR was uh, UDW. Mm. So one of the things we had to do uh, as per mandate is to incorporate uh, students from UDW where we could. So there's that relationship. And it turned out the big noise was about a guest of some Indian guy whose hair who fell off, I think, his back or whatever. And that was Kenny Maestri. So I'm like, oh, one look Kenny Maestri. Wow. So it's you no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, hey, usually like everybody has, hey, man, uh, I heard you're on Capital Radio. How, how can I get in? He's like, no, do what I did. Mm. They had a slot called Give It A Go which was a weekend, it was a graveyard weekend slot. So if you think you have what it takes, you go submit your demo and you never know. Mm. That's how he got in. So I'm like, okay, cool. So in those days, yeah, you are very formal. You submit a demo and you write a letter. Mm. I got a response. Uh, in the good old days, 
vote now first and you get a response that'd be very nice and say dear so and so we received your application however we regret to inform you that you are <laughs> unsuccessful yeah yeah and to this day i don't know why i didn't frame that letter because i took it as a challenge and said no 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 uh Okay. But the point you is, know what we mean. Yeah. yeah. The point is, had I listened to them, that is where I would have stopped knocking on the Capital Radio door. Mm. But I took it as a challenge and I was like, La Le Land, I'm coming next year. Mm. That's exactly what I did. So the reason why I got into capital was because I was rejected. Mm. So, in spite of the best advice telling you you don't have what it takes, if you really want it, you will find a way. And what is even worse was that when I got there to submit my demo, I think it's a very important lesson, is I got there, I was like, oh, I heard about this thing called Give It A Go, um, what can I do? And the guy I found there was like, no, no, it's nothing like that, we don't have any vacancies. Sorry. It's like, hey, okay. And I walked down. Now the station was on South Beach. Mm. And I walked out with a friend of mine, very de de dejected. And somebody followed me and said, you know what? You've got a nice voice. Yeah. That guy who told you that there are no vacancies or whatever, he's talking nonsense. He's in technical. He doesn't make the decisions. Mm. Come back on Monday mm. and ask for the station manager. Mm. I came back on Monday. And the station manager said, okay, what we'll do is every afternoon, you'll come here, you'll go into the backup studio, you will take your time, you will record. When you think you're happy, record it, leave with me, and then I'll give you feedback. And that's what used to happen pretty much every afternoon until I got into Capital Radio. Wow. So I, I was rejected twice, mm. but I needed only one yes. Yeah. So that's my point about, and I think yeah. I just keep repeating, in spite of anybody telling you no, if you truly believe, believe what it yourself. takes mm -hmm. and you believe in yourself, you'll find mm -hmm. a way. And you made it work. Let's, let's talk about um, radio. Um, in, you, you mentioned some of the things that worry you about radio. Yeah. Well, you didn't say they worry you, but you mentioned about uh, people with big numbers. Yeah. What worries you right now about radio? If you look at the state of radio right now. as he takes a deep breath. Is that I, bad? I think we are unaware of how much trouble we're in. Mm. That's my biggest problem. And I'll break it down. Mm. The, the biggest devil in the world is social media. But it's very subtle. That's why you don't even notice it. But social media is killing radio is killing print, is killing TV. Because everything you can get on radio, you can get on social media. Everything you can you need in print, you can get on social media. Sure. Everything you need on TV, you can get on social media. Worse, you can get it on the phone. So the question then is, if you're to ask an ordinary person, why do you listen to radio? Ah, such trial. Ah, ban, 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 ban. Because Radio and TV were where the superstars were made. And superstar is about fame, it's about recognition, it's about money, right? But influencers do that. Mm. You can trend on social media with something stupid. Yeah. And have 20 million people. Mm. You'll have a weekday presenter on primetime show. Doesn't even have 10,000. All right. So who's the biggest star? So radio, radio, the radio star is not what they used to be because they don't own anything. You, you don't need to go to radio for music. Mm. You don't even need to go through to radio for traffic. Mm. So why? The biggest thing radio has is that human connection. Yeah. Right? But there are people who are gift, gifted to relay and inspire, to spark that communication and connection. Mm. Because we are under so, such attack from social media, we need to up the talent game. But what we're doing is, because we're importing influencers from the same people who are killing us, it's not helping us. Because what happens is we're weakening 
ourselves and not developing our strengths to see how can we push back. Mm. I mean, a big example, <clears throat> I'm on a podcast. Some podcasts are bigger than stations. Mm. 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 Why is it? Uh, yeah. and, and I think I always use, and everybody does use Mac G. Yes. Mm. And then in, in workshops, I, I ask the question, so everybody knows Mac G's podcast, right? Yeah. And I ask the question, why is he popular? I'm like, no, because he's he swears he can do it. I'm like, no. Mm. Take the swearing aside. Why is he popular? And in my assessment, it's because of his interview technique. Mm. Mm. People on radio are very poor. As interview. At the basics. Basics of radio, yeah. So all social media did is to take something that radio did and they just did it better and magnified it because it's visual. Mm. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. So you imag can you imagine somebody creating an environment on radio like Mac G does and get the same output? Yes, um, Mac G has more time to go in depth, but yeah. stations can do the same thing. Mm. But you need to be equipped to have that character and the qualities required to make a podcast pop. Yeah. If you don't have the qualities, then the argument about Mac G swearing falls away. Yeah, because somebody else can swear but not get the numbers. Yes, yes. So, so then it means that the superstars that radio were are gone. So, which is why that the 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 the, um, the talent benchmark has got to go higher. Instead, it's going lower mm. because you're importing influencers who have numbers but zero talent. Yeah. On the odd occasion, the talent and the influence collides. Mm. So, I'm not saying all influencers. I'm saying if all you're bringing is influence but not talent, it's a problem. Yeah. If you're talented and just happen to be influencer, I've got no problem. Yeah. Because what happens is, and this is the bigger, to your question, the bigger danger is that if you hire an influence got zero talent but just numbers, you create the false impression that anybody can do radio. Mm. No matter how bad they are. Because if you're bad and all you have is, 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 is numbers, it means anybody can do the job it means if I'm an advertiser listening, I'm like, I can't believe this is the nonsense they're putting out that I must go and s spend my money on that nonsense. Yeah. Mm. So you lose viewership, listenership, you lose money because I'm not going to spend my money on that. Mm. Yeah. I'd rather go to the influencers um, because also the bigger thing about radio, now here's a secret to which radio people will hate. I'm not saying... It's a scam. But what I'm saying is the one of many advantages that social media has over radio is that they can prove whatever they say. Mm. So if I say on radio, I've got a million listeners or give me your money, it will be heard by a million people. I can't really prove that. But on social media, you see that. because of the back end, you can see who they are where they're listening, what they're listening from, how long they listen you to you. Yep. Mm. All those things. Radio, yes, now with apps, maybe you can kind of do that, but it's not there. Yeah. That's so so, so scientifically, yeah. there are many, so what radio needs to do is unpack, okay, why are people on social media? Right? So if, like I said before, you can trend, you can trend for stupid things. I'm not necessarily saying do stupid things, but just find what is it that connects with people. Sometimes you'll find that it's simple things like using Ingan, people always have a soft spot for kids. Mm. But with all your years of experience on radio, what can you do over and above just saying, are you smarter than a seventh grader? Mm. Be creative. Now, the problem with people, they, have, they are stuck in a 1980, 1990, 2000 era. One. Two, because they're stuck, they fear going beyond. And it does not see the, and do not see that that ground has shifted, so they can't marshal their troops to go into a foreign land because they are scared of defeat instead of possibly surprising themselves by a bigger victory. Right, please say that again. <laughs> <laughs> say that again. Remember, Hallelujah. I don't even remember it, but I just made it up. So, if you're stuck in a particular era or phase of radio for cowardice or whatever, you are unable to lead your troops to a place of possible victory because you'd rather play safe. Ah, yeah, yeah. And Got it. also, because you are stuck, you have not armed yourself with the tools to empower yourself to let go. 
Wow. There is no greater power than delegation, than release. Yeah. But we also have too many people who believe power. If you're in a position of power, it means you know everything. You can't know everything. Mm. You can't, you can't approach and manage a creative the same way that you would an, an accountant. Yeah. So if yeah. you bring an accountant mindset to an, a creative, there's already a, a problem. Mm. Yeah. Your yeah. role is not to anticipate the creative, but to create the environment for the creative to flourish. Yeah. That is yeah. enabling. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But too many people are scared. You know, we're in the era where radio's got to take bigger risks and we're not doing enough because, as I'm saying, people on social media take risks because, you know, if, if something fails, they try again and do something different. Yeah. But stations, because they're brands, are afraid of risk and what I'm like. Creatives are kids. Mind of a kid, oh, try this, creative things, crazy things, make me laugh. What does it take to, to entertain somebody? You can't teach that, that mm -hmm. thing if it's not within you. So with, with that, what you just said now, do you then think if format here radio as we know it needs to be reviewed? Um, just to elaborate on my question, you carry, I mean, the radio as we know it, especially com commercial radio, yep. you know, short links, punchy, then you go to a song. If you don't know what to say, shut your mouth, play the next song. Yeah. Um, with interviews, you can't interview a guest for full 30 minutes, yeah. but now you've got a podcast that will give that content and mm -hmm. the radio is competing with a podcast, but they are only interviewing the same guest for 10 minutes and then they move on to a song. Do we need to, do radio people need to review such things or we need to stick to radio as we know it? If you stick to radio as you know it, radio will become something we used to know. Radio will become like the facts. We don't use it anymore, but it was nice. And just to show you how old I am, I've lived through a pager and effects. <laughs> <laughs> and the payphone. Mm. And the biggest thing was like, okay, payphone is now a card phone. Like, ah, card phone, that's colored. Ah. Yeah. So I'm pleading with radio people, don't get left behind. Mm. But approach it with a content creator mindset, not a radio mindset. And I once said something uh, to somebody who was trying to get into radio. And I said, the problem with radio people is that they think like radio people. Mm. We need to get some outside influence mm. or understand that the influence will help us. It's not here to hurt us. It's, it's a sign. And we're ignoring the signs. Some stations deliberately hire content creators because Creators think out the box and they move you forward. Yeah. But if you hire just radio people, you'll get more of the same, mm. same complaints, same problems, yeah. and you'll wonder and think the problem is them. It's not them. The environment has shifted. So hence I say, we need people who are more talented than the people we have at the moment. For some people in some territories, they're killing it, the numbers are great, that's great. But I'm thinking overall, mm. because if like the, I mean, to, 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 to go back to your point, uh, some stations are trying to merge, so they'll have a guest and they say, oh, by the way, we have an in-depth conversation, so-and-so, uh, go and check out the full length, whatever. Yeah. Now, what that does is yeah. awesome because you're using a platform that exists, but you have the skill mm. because we use a matching example. You yeah. say, no, no, the problem actually has time. Okay, there you've got time. We have given you the time, so you... Do you have the skill. So it's, it's, it's about the skill. Yeah. Yeah. Hence, I'm saying we need to up the skill level and move people from being announcers, presenters, DJs, talent to content creators. And if, 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 if they're not of themselves, creatives, you get producers who know the game. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And Who don't are just going to be behind the scenes and don't and, don't and be, yeah, the presenter. Don't be afraid because mm. your fear has imprisoned you. But also there's this other problem of if I reveal that I don't know, I'll be taken as weak and out of depth. No, some technologies and industries change more rapidly than others. Just understand where things are going. And what you don't know, you can hire people, you can Google things. Mm. And place the people, you don't need to know everything. I mean, I, I remember one time um, I was in a situation where uh, it was like a workshop. 
So it was like the boss and the talent. And then it just so happened that the talent was creative with jokes. And in that meeting, the talent spoke to the boss and afterwards said something I'll never forget to this day. They said, oh my goodness, I can't believe you. I've just told you three jokes. You didn't laugh. You missed all of them. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes that is how big the disconnect is. Mm. Yeah. Because that person wants to control and understands management to the level at which they understand it, not to the level at which it needs to be managed. So is it a yeah. problem to get, um, and then those are probably okay. you want to ask, is it a problem to then have managers that are not creatives, managers of radio that have never been on radio? Um, they might struggle to understand the talent. Somebody who's got a PCOM just like yourself, and they are coming from they are coming from a, a corporate environment. Yeah, I think the the, the 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 thing about it, you just need to acknowledge what you don't know. That's the first point. Yeah. Um, because otherwise, all you'll do is frustrate talent. Um. The other problem is that in as much as, 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 as the demand of talent has changed, so too has management. Mm. So management now is very far removed from talent because they have so much more to do than in the good old days. Because in the good old days, the presenters of the talent, they knew what, yeah. what they had to do. They basically made you look good. You, mm. Now there's meetings, there's yeah. this, there's content, there's digital, there's sports. So they're inundated with meetings that they actually can't give the presenters the guidance they need. Which is why some, present, some stations then have somebody specifically dealing with talent. Yes, you know, Sashwanjal. I remember at um, at some point, you know, when 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 Ubegin was yeah. a, a programs manager, your course, would he used to have time to listen to community radio stations? Mm. You know, mm. uh, I know because at some point I had some interactions with him, and he would comment on the things that he has been listening to. Mm. As you are saying, we would see now times have changed. Mm. There's so much that is demanded from the people who are in management and, you know, they cannot just spend time uh, in focusing on their talent. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. You, you, it, it's, it's, it's really, really crazy. And, yeah. and I mean, I've, I've had shocking things of, of people, I won't mention names, but mm. national stations, mm. where they said, they only met the program manager when they were hired. Wow. I have people, like, just to the point, I have people who actually send me their shows and say, please snoop me because I go in the like I. Wow. And, and, I'm, and, I'm talking, and I'm talking national stations. Yeah. Mm. It's like because the way it's set up, they're like, hey, we hired you, do your thing. Yeah. We are busy. Now, I know to other people, to hire somebody to deal specifically with talent is a cost, but it's actually a, a saving grace. Now you have just mentioned that uh, I have to ask you this question. Um, radio stations are currently now going through changes. You know, mm. they are changing their programming. Uh, they are. I'm a radio station. I announce I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lineup out. And sometimes when I listen to people getting babes or abanye beba disappointed to see I went zegan I'm a changes. And we, we actually recorded a video with uh, Undobeko mm. uh, where we were having our reactions on, 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 on the new lineup of Fukuzi FM mm. in particular and also of Metro FM in particular. And we, 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 we were able to say there are no major changes mm. that are there because when you look at the changes of a radio station, you firstly focus on their prime time. Mm. So... I know what you would need I am a pros manager, but I've not really had the time to, 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 to listen to these shows and, and really scrutinize them and understand what he clock here show from the beginning to the end and the land line. 
So another good question. Um, the, the, the first answer, which actually covers everything, is that yeah. there are millions of reasons which go into why lineups are the way they are. Yeah. Right? The, the, but the bigger question becomes in people's eyes and ears. Are you telling me, Station X, this is the best you can do? Mm. Are you trying to tell me mm. who can do something much better than this? Mm. Mm. That is the question people are asking. Yeah. yeah. Because what they see is more of the same. Yeah. Now, that comes from the attitude that says, if it's not broken, why fix it? Yeah. Okay. Right? Now, it also depends on who's saying that. Mm. Because, like I said to you, if somebody says, hey, so-and-so must remain in the lineup because they've got a great voice, then you can tell where the person's mindset is, where they're stuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> right? Right. Because marketing will say, hey, but I can't market uh, in Dogos. Yeah. Because, because, because. Yeah. Like, yeah, but yo, that voice. I'm like, yeah. Because those um, attributes or skills are good up to a point. Yeah. And then there's diminishing returns from that. Mm. Because, yeah, great voice, great voice, great voice. And then? The same way, um, another example of the masterclass. Um, some people are great voices. Mm. Some people are great on radio. Yeah. There's this industry called um, voiceovers. Yeah. Do you know how many radio people who use their voice to earn a living mm -hmm. are bad at voiceovers. Oh, because very bad at voiceovers. Because <laughs> because it's a different skill set. Yeah. And in order you need to A, be flexible in how you approach the, the, the particular job you have. B be able to take direction. Yeah. Some people can't get that right. Yeah. You see? Mm. So so there are always avenues where you can check and say, great voice, but I can't use that person to, to push an ad for this thing. They mm. become a celebrity voice because people will recognize the voice, but there's only so much I can do with that person. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you're going to say, uh, so they need to be on the show. So what, what reason is that? You know, that's some people want... Yeah, you know? Yeah. But... Then others will say, look, why are we in business? If it's a commercial station. Mm. Yeah. Right? At the end of the day, if it's, if it's commercial, then it's got to make money. So if it's not making commercial sense, it does make sense. The, the PBS ones, public broadcast uh, service, is different because it's the mandate. Yeah. Um, that has to be executed. Because the other question becomes... If you say, ah, or it's like, so why must they leave? Why must you change? Mm. What's the reason? You just want to hear some, is that, is that enough of a reason? Mm. Because the, the, the station is not there for that specifically. There's a government mandate it must push because it's yes. funded by the taxpayers, yes. right? Yes. So as long as that is done, there's advertisers, there's in, in, in. It's like people just love Ihab of like, oh, did you hear the new thing? Yeah. But if it's like, ah, oh, it's the same, like, okay, what's the problem? In the States, you have people who are over 70 on air. Right. Here, you hit 40, they're like, I same that. Same that. What does that mean? Yeah, if, if it's if it's a relevant, it's a delivery content. Let me ask you a very, yeah. very simple thing. I'll say yeah. two words. Actually, the three. One is a letter. <laughs> Why are you, you asking me now? Because no, 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 I have no, to no. ask you. No. I have to ask you. What, no, yeah, you no, 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 no. I'll, 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 I'll respond to my ask. Yeah, okay. Wilson Bean goes, yeah. mm. Umkai. Love you, Wilson. Yeah. Kind of. Others will say, I don't get Seth Wright. Yeah. Oh, gee, that the Telabang. So, is your only reason because you've been there. <laughs> but so if that's the only reason, then it does make sense. Does so make why sense. can we not apply the same reason to other people? Yeah. Let other kids eat shem. Yeah. Because also you must remember that whatever people might say, because he's also from the school of Eddie Zondi. Yeah. What he needs to do is not difficult, with all due respect. Yeah. It doesn't take a lot. What Eddie Zondi did, with all due respect, was it didn't take a lot. He had the voice, the voice did the thing, 
Eddie was about the music. Yeah. He, it was a musical show. His shows were musical shows. And, and to the point I made earlier, it has to fit in with the lifestyle. Mm. Yeah. So if you fit into the lifestyle, you're not trying to sound clever, even though Wilson sometimes has this deep poetry, but anyway, it's another story. Um, if the, the, it's not, I mean, like Sintley. Yeah. It's not demanding what he does. Yeah, yeah. He fits into a particular lifestyle. Yes, there's a certain way of doing it and whatever the case is, but that's not demanding. So how do you compete in the space of having that's not really demanding that anybody can do with all due respect? Yeah. You keep it as it is. Yeah. So you 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 don't mess with the formula. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because also what happens is I know like Umsizi, those guys get bookings to yeah. go and play in clubs. So there's yeah. another extension. Yeah. So are you the talent that can do that or you're just behind the mic? Yeah. So if all you do you're good at is behind the mic, I good luck for you. Mm. Now, Makosi, mm. you, right, you were a province manager uh, with mm. Twi- Twice. Twice, yes, twice. Twice, twice. Yes. So, uh, and I remember uh, 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 both, uh, both, season, uh, both seasons, is right. seasons, yeah, or yeah, yeah. uh, a province manager. Uh, but in front of you, you know, because we all feel again in the province manager, so that we ECR and then a uh, was to Zangala as a PM. Mm. Oh, you know, you 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 came to Kakasi from being a, a, a presenter, just an ordinary presenter. Mm. Here you are now to manage talent, and you were not just managing Italian day or land with community radio, you were managing big names. You were managing the likes of Alex Mtiane, the likes of Le Commotion, the likes of Chastise, mm. the likes of Sexia, eh, eh, too. Mm. you know, I, I can mention a list, you know. And uh, I, I, I once had a conversation with a gentleman who's in HR and he said to me, he feels that some problems manager, Baba Nichali, Jyoti, La banda ba menenja yo e na ye e bakulugien. Yeah. We fan. We kama. We fan. Yeah, that's the right word to use. Uh, how uh, how do you find it? Uh, because you 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 are fresh from being on air. What now? All these who are guys who have been your colleagues now they they have to report to you, and you 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 have to direct the ship. How much time do you have? <laughs> 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 because I was I was listening, yeah, and I was like, yo, for everything you're asking, I've got so many illustrations of yeah, like how Alex got in, how I got hold of Ice, how um, Leko got hired, how Durban's finest got into Kagas. Yes, yes, I yes. remember. Yes. Those are all sto- those yes. are stories. Yes, we might have time to 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 get into them. Yeah. Um, so maybe I'll run through them quickly. Yeah. Alex Mtiani. When I took, got to Gakas, I was told, Marcos, whatever happens, Alex has to be there. All right. To be honest, I didn't so listen. So, it was a contract to sign you. No, but... No, Alex, when you were told that... He had been approached. Okay. Uh, so, I didn't listen to Cause that much, but I was told, whatever happens, the station is going to be built around Alex. Okay. Because he's going to be in breakfast. All right. I know there was a specific time when um, Mtiane was in Pearl's office. All right. And he, I think, Beseshela, I don't know whether it was another government department or something. Okay. So he was now there, no Ngabaza, to say, Charlie, mm. take the class. Pearl called me. I just arrived, or I, I think I just finished my shift at East Coast. Mm. And he said, Makosi, please come now. Yeah. It's an emergency. Umang Figalapo, we got into her office. Then she says, Hey, Angizo, Gatelin Sizo. Yeah. Good to think. So we had to convince him and persuade him to stay. And why I remember that was like yesterday is because there was a particular. Um, Formal shirt that East Coast had mm. that I had on that I arrived Pupogil. in Pogil at the time, just still P4. Yeah. So I'm getting there, follow East Coast and in, 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 and then afterwards, people started like, hey, hey, what's Makosi doing? Jan, Jan, Jani. Because I couldn't really hide. They were like, ow, this guy. So nobody knew besides Pearl that Pussy. I was actually joining. Yeah. So, um, 
I can't take the credit for, for Alex. Yeah. I can take credit for how I managed the show after it started. Yeah. But I was told whatever happens, the Alex station, has to be there. That's one. Mm. Let go, I knew from East Coast days. Yeah. And I was looking at him and knowing him as a friend yeah. and seeing the direction Kakasi was going mm. to say he'd be perfect. And also... Before Leko, go with Ismail Abrams, am I correct? No. What do you mean? What well, Ismail was there, he was on P4. I don't know what time, but yeah, he was yeah, on okay, there. Right. Yeah. So, and I said to Leko, Nganwami, I need you mm. because also this is going to give you a daytime show. He had never done a daytime show. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So Leko was at 10. Yeah, 10 to 2. U, 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 tano, let you sexaholic. I was like, uh, okay, now we'll get there. Oh, then mom go. We actually created the characters for, for, for Alex and the Morning Crew with Pearl. Okay. Sa, 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 Florida Road. I think it was bigger. Yeah. The whole night. Mm. Planning, strategizing. What, what kind of people do we need? Mm. And then we came across... Because so mom go was a character before it as a person. Yeah. And then she said, oh, I know somebody who I think will fit into this character. To somebody who was a hairdress. I think. No, 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 Somebody who's a, she's a dressmaker or tailor, whatever you call it. Right. Okay. Tried her, didn't work out. And I was like, that was Paul's choice. I was like, okay. okay, leave it to me. All right. I think I have somebody. Yeah. I called up, uh, see, now I'm even forgetting her real name. Oh, not Tando. Not Tando. Gobane. Gobane. Yes. Yeah. And Pearl, who yeah. is now the program manager of Kozini, yeah. said to me, I said, okay, I think I have somebody go meet the, with the team and Jared. Mm. Pearl said to me, and you can ask her this, what is one more that you to win? She could just tell because she had that motherly, mm. and that mm. is the, 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 this the, is the character that that's why character we created. Yes. <clears throat> Everybody was just being themselves. Yeah. Big pun, um, I needed a sports presenter. Yeah. And I didn't know him to be a sports presenter because I knew him from East Coast days, Wangene, as, a, as an intern. Mm. And then I asked one of his former colleagues, I think, Ukebo Temba, so I shot. And I said, hey, I think I'm going but I need him for a sports presenter position. What do you think? And she said to me, if you're a journalist, it doesn't matter the field. Mm. Yeah. So I called Pumlan and Pumlan was like, no, 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 he's actually big on football. He started sending me profiles. Any, uh, any, any. Uh, okay. That's how Big Pan got into. Yeah, and so Kakas. So that's Leko. Um, and, the, and the Alex and the morning crew. So three to six. Just as. Ooh, 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 um, um. Who do I start with? Tanulet. Tanulet was doing breakfast on P4. Okay. And I was like, Okay, because Alex and the Morning Crew has decided, I was like, okay, she needs to be on prime time, but I need her to be second voice for somebody else. So what had happened was uh, the station had hired a consultant to actually do the lineup before I got there. Yeah, okay. And people might not know this. Exclusive. Ooh, we love exclusives. Exclusive. <laughs> there was yeah. a short list, and on that list was Bad Boy T. Oh, okay. So Bad Boy T was meant to do afternoon drive. Oh, all right. But, uh, and this was because the consultant at the time also consulted for YFM. Oh, okay. And he was actually a voice of artist. All right. And so he was promising Pearl, no, 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 don't worry. I'm massaging the deal. And Pearl is like, hey, daughter. Scott, <laughs> Scott. And I was like, leave it to me. Yeah. At the time, I think Ice, I think he had left Metro. Yes. And actually wasn't on radio. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. So I said, Nganwam, I've got a primetime gig. Come back. Let me bring you out of the shadows. Yeah. And and then there was another white consultant who was helping the station. Mm. And then they said, um, I don't know, because also I was my first time as a manager, right? Yeah. They're like, ow, Lomfa was like, yeah, we'll just bring his friends and any, any, any. So we flew up to Joburg with this consultant and Pearl and met, I remember the hotel in uh, Randburg, met yeah. Ice. Oh, Ice. Yeah, so, um, uh, <laughs> tell me about uh, Kakasi. Who, who is he or she? Is it a female? Is it a male? Hey, I'm a peg on uh. And when they left, we were like, aha, this guy's talented. Mm. 
So yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Mm. I've never met Ice personally, but he's, he's I deep. can imagine. He's eh? deep. Yeah, I can imagine. Eh? And he loves radio. Mm. Yeah. So they, they, they were checking my, my, my instinct. And I was right. That is how I joined the team. Yeah. So the last example I made. And I also did chairs on a Sunday. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. So I thought of all those things. And, and, and the last example I'll give would be Durban's finest. Yeah. So, spoiler alert, I hired them and then I fired them, but we can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should tell the reasons, but anyway. No, we'd love to hear the reasons. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> so, what had happened was the. the um, so, the way Kakas was structured, uh, Kakis Omida had an interest, right? Mm. And they, by and large, was helping to set up. Kakas. Mm, yeah. So head office Kakas was like, hey, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this. So Omar Esak, who used to be my station manager at East Coast, had now moved to be, what is it? I think MD or something, some big show at Kakiso Media. Mm. Said, hey, you know what? Kakas is coming in with this whole street flavor. Um, I'm hearing things about Durban's finest. Can they, can they produce a jingle for us just so we can be relevant? Mm. <laughs> These guys are DJs. Why they should? Why should they just stop with making a jingle when they can be offered a show? Mm. Mm. That's how G Sessions was born. Wow! wow. This guy here. Wow. Yeah, well done. <laughs> uh, and 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 um, I fired them because they they appeared at a Cozy gig and then was like, oh, Cozy this and a t-shirts. Cost cost quite pale. So they were wearing uh, Cozy t-shirts. And and also who Cozy this Cozy now. That also might be debatable in history. Yeah. Because I was others, about to ask you. I was about to ask you. Let me, let me answer the yeah. question before yeah. you ask. Yeah. And then you'll tell me whether it was the que- I answer the question you're going to ask me. Yeah. In that, at the time, everybody was very jealous about their talent. Yeah. And the argument might be that they were performing. It was actually Bexa Yeah. They were performing there as artists. Not yes, as, uh, yes. As not as the presenters. Contracts. So, uh, uh, I, I didn't have a problem because I was there watching. The problem is that then you they, were there at the gig just by coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was did, free. When did you know that you were going, you were going to fire <laughs> them? It was free. No, it was not the <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what dancer? So if you go back on that day, <laughs> I got the dancer now. <laughs> I, I do as I, 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 I say, not as I do. <laughs> you also attended the Ukose. It was free, what you do <laughs> at that time. Okay. So, so <laughs> the issue was not that they, because they did their set and it was amazing. Yeah. They then went on, Kogi <laughs> T-shirty, and, and I was like, ah, just for that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know right then, then that you were going to fire them? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Wow. That's how they lost the gig. And then, in fact, <laughs> I then said to Tira, hey, can we have a meeting it's about this thing? And I die. Then I told her. Yeah. And then she's like, I will. We went and And then I was like, I know I'm fit to sense right. Yeah. And then I said to him, I saw you performing and doing the whole oh, cozy, water, 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 water. Because uh, it's the whole of Durban's finest. Yeah. Including Sindor. Mm. So are your people staying or Number nine. Yeah. I'm the guy it's your call. Yeah. So that's actually how they were fired. Mm. Okay. And how was it like so, sorry, can I just um yeah. just, just just to complete that? Sure. So so counter to that years later or whatever, DJ Fresh yeah. um came to the station. Because he was part of a thing called, I think, DJs Unlimited. They hosted a training or whatever workshop with Oskido and stuff. Oh, he, was it the oh, Kids yeah. Park? Oh, yeah. They, they, they used to do that. Yes, I remember. Yes. yes. So, so he came to the station. Yeah. And I remember, I think Pearl was away at the time. Mm. Ooh, somebody else was, was like too icy. Mm. Uh, when I was there, I think I was doing afternoon drive as well. Mm. Um, he came in to push this thing. Mm. 
And then they happened to tell me this. What I was like, no, 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 no. I call Fresh, Fresh, come back tomorrow. Yeah. I'll be on the show. I'll interview you. Yeah. So you know, we spoke and up washed about the gig and what, 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 what. He understands the game. Yeah. So he was able to divorce the hat of I'm here in the capacity of somebody who's promoting a workshop mm-hmm. for yeah. DJs. Yeah. But he wasn't going to go, yo, 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 this is, okay, yo, 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 this is fresh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen, you gotta, no, he didn't do that. So yeah. some would say like, okay, how come fresh? I understand the hat he was wearing. Yeah. But these days, it's really up to the program manager mm-hmm. because the total DJ at a particular station then goes and, 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 and does a set at another station. Oh, by the way, or did I know, Durban's, we never paid Durban's Finest. Yeah. So... These days, maybe people are paid because our thing was like you have the platform, yeah, use it, push to, your gigs, yeah, and, and push whatever the case is. Yeah, I just want to ask you this you know, we are in election times, now, yes, and, and 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 people are getting hired by uh, political parties, yes, to, to 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 go in campaigns and perform to be MC, program director, and so on. What is your view on on, on, on radio people who 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 who, who declare in public or with Babylon and Mapama political parties? Is there right? It's their right. It's their right. They can um, do it. Come yeah, here, they, Mr. Koza. <laughs> <laughs> well, we disagree on that. They, they, they are T's and C's. Yeah, right. You can't hide it because if you're at events and doing whatever. You know, uh, yeah. it's not like you're at a voting station. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you publicly say, I support Party X, that's that's your thing. Yeah. Right? Um, the, the, it works when you support a ruling party. It's a problem if it's very public and it's not the ruling party. That books and everyone's a party, whether in the station or in other places. Mm. Right? It's the same thing of, of uh, it's a different, but it's, the, it's, it's that issue that some other artists came across when at these rallies, yeah. they all want the latest. Yeah. And then one artist, I think it was actually I Fine or somebody, performed at one particular part and then they didn't want him to perform because they thought like, but like, no guys, I'm just, I'm just an artist. Yeah. yeah. But to come back to your question, mm. um, you can declare, but if you don't, it's also smart. Okay. But also, when we see you now and then wearing the latest Congolose or EFF thing, I mean, you're not going to hide it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So how can you hide it? Um, now, let me tell you something you hadn't asked me. Yeah. Which is even worse than just declaring. Yeah. So there's also election time. Okay. I happen to be at the station. And then um, one particular government official wanted, this is going to make so many sense because it ticks so many boxes, if you've been listening. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted a, a party ad to be played on Kakas. Okay. And they wanted me to voice it. Okay. Because I said I'm also a voice of artist. Yeah. yeah. Slight problem. The script said, C, A, and C. Yeah. So I was ANC endorsing yeah. the party. Yeah. Now the question is what does that say to me? Can I claim like no 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 iki gig gig? I'm not necessarily ANC. I'm just doing a gig for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or am I saying that I am pro ANC? Also, being a, uh, a, a, a member, I, I don't know whether at the time I was uh, still progress manager or presenter. Yeah. Are you then also saying in a sense, the station endorses. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, hey, I don't know how to deal with this thing, particularly just on the C, A, and C. <laughs> I had to ask, I think I asked Bob McBain at the time. Yeah. You know, and he was like, ah, um, gig is a gig. Yeah. So I said that. Uh, in as much as had it been IFP, it would have been the same. Kind of, so you, you need to make those decisions because some people, Siabaz, but that because mm, you know see, what I mean see. so if now you're seen doing other things do you then say hey guys by the way 
Yeah. You know, I'm not really supporting a job is a job is a job is a job. But um, be smart to know the consequences. Yeah. If you've made the judgment that it won't harm you, go for it. But it's always safer not to reveal. But the problem now with social media, you will not say publicly, but then you at a rally or you'll shoot Philip Moses Mapida in, 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 what are you going to do? How are you going to hide? Mm. Yeah. You, you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but the issue comes when, for example, your political party is in trouble yeah. and you're the host of a current affairs show. You must now interview them. Yeah. Are you able to keep it professional? Are you able to criticize your own party publicly as part of your job? Yeah. As opposed to, uh, because that now compromises the stage. Yeah. Unlike in the States where, uh, I guess you could use um, Zanti as an example as well. In the States where CNN is for the Democrats. Fox is for the Republicans. So whatever they say, she has about Pixar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. But here, if it's not SABC or it's not uh, Newsroom Africa or ENCA, yeah. uh, or, or, Oh, that's our time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see what happens when you speak about politics. Alarms go off. Wee, 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 wee. Um, okay, can, 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 I, can I come and ask you something that is not related to what we're talking about now, seeing that our time is going off? Um, how you deal with rumors, I find it very interesting, and I'll give you a little example. Me or just you, general? You okay. specifically. Okay. Um, there was a rumor last year. Uh, when we're, we're, make, we're making changes during this season. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's an anniversary. <laughs> yes, of, of the rumor. Mm-hmm. And, and it mm-hmm. was an idea that. <laughs> <laughs> it was on newspapers, it was on social media, everybody was talking about it. We were talking about it. Yep. You were entertaining us, but not agreeing to what we were saying, not disputing it. Uh, how do you deal with rumors? So, we are now in the content era, right? Mm. It depends on how you're wired up to see a problem as a problem or an opportunity. Mm. Because in life, there are lessons and there are blessings. Yeah. If you don't learn the lesson, it will keep coming back to you. Mm. Um, you know the whole you you know you take a lemon and make it lemonade <laughs> so but just to give background for people who don't know uh, what happened there is um, how do I phrase it so it makes sense it is also exciting at the same time so what happened was I, I started posting uh Firstly, I think it was Imbatat, of course. Mm-hmm. And then with a cushion. Yeah. And I think I may have said coming soon or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I was smiling. And I left it at that. So, mm-hmm. so I'm going to say one or two, but for one or twenty. Some congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, we did. And then I got a journalist to call who then said to me, hey, we're hearing rumors of, and I'm like, the shut up, look. Like, no, we're seeing pictures. I'm like, okay, I can't just post, like I got some courses, but i And then I said to them, all I can say is there's something I'm working on with the course. Mm. I will reveal when the, de- when the time is right. Our mm. uh, but I, it's confirmation. Yeah. yeah. But what had actually happened? I, like this, mm. was was on a Ukozi FM podcast. Yeah. No, see, I'm strong. Yes. Yeah. But then I, I, then I used the, 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 the cushion and imbat that as a teaser. Wow. But then when people ran and said, it means, it just happened at the time that they didn't have a programs manager. Yeah. They then said, oh no, it must be, it must be, it must, yeah. must be. And I didn't confirm and I didn't deny. Mm. Because I know the game. Yeah. So I played the game the way it should be played. Because I, I, I could have, um, okay, take a step back. I, I, I then, 
I think I must bomb for a day. I didn't say anything because I was seeing all this news popping. Hmm? I think Google Makosi right now. That's all over. Yeah. And then said, uh, I'll make a statement. <laughs> and in that statement, I corrected the assumption that I was going to be program manager. And I then also said, unfortunately, we're in a time where people run to be first instead of checking the facts. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. what I was saying to is a lot of people I respect who are in social media. Yeah. Who ran and said, I, Nagaja. Yeah. And then went on in bio and then said, I'm like, but you didn't call me. Yeah. So they went on the strength of a, 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 an interview from some journalist. And even Ukozi, when they, I think, contacted the head office, said, I think they don't discuss that. And at the proper time, they'll make an announcement. Yeah. So there was never a confirmation of anything. But people, because Bane Hub and want to just to trend first, and to be the first to, break the to say, I don't know, it has to be. Yeah. But that newspaper, that article trended. Yeah. The same way I say, unfortunately, you don't even be having, you don't even have to be speaking facts to trend. Yeah. And those are influencers. Even if they're newspaper articles or or, 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 or or people masquerading as journalists. So I knew what I wanted out of that. Others will say, why didn't you say it at the why didn't you say it uh, sooner? My problem was this that I wanted Ukozi to break the news. Mm. So the problem is that um, I was initially going to do one podcast but see I was like ah, there's too much yeah. of you we need to do two yeah so I went back and did another one yeah so they didn't edit quickly enough yeah so I was waiting for them to say things are ready then this thing is yeah. out yeah yeah so yeah. people assumed I was talking about no it wasn't mm. so it's it's about how what some people see as a problem you see as a challenge or an opportunity <laughs> because but the, 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 the problem is that unfortunately sometimes the voice of the truth is not as loud as the one that lies mm. very true and by that I mean even today I meet some people who send me demos by because the first lie they heard was it's widespread and when I corrected it my platform was smaller than the one who <laughs> the, the one that spread the lie. I mean, a quick example, um, because Eka access what thing? When I got to the border, um, love of miss, the guys that were congratulating me. Let's check with Kutlan. How many minutes do we have uh, to wrap? So I ended up another 30. You've added 30. Okay. Okay, l l okay. Makos. Yeah, for, yeah, okay. We, we needed to check that. I, 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 but I do, how much time you. do you have? <laughs> I did warn you. I did warn you. Uh, that we, 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 when we have I'm, Makos, we can, you I'm know. Not, I'm not stressed. Yeah. I've got time. Yeah, okay. So, Makos, you know, uh, we have spent so much time focusing on you who uh, uh, like KZN, but I'll pay the line like KZN in terms of radio. Uh, so you are still doing radio and uh, you are not actively on radio, but you have been with Rise FM, you have been with Radio 2000, uh, just to mention a few. Uh, when did you, uh, from, from Kakas, where did you move to? Kakasi was, I then moved to 2000. To 2000. 2000, I then... Which show did you do at 2000? 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, Notanolet, it was called Afro Moja. Oh, yes, I remember yeah, that so show. I used to listen to the show, yeah. So that's, that's the one. Yeah. So, um, so who, 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 who uh, does the SAPC approach you to, to, to join them? No. Okay. First time, yeah, because e, 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 e Radio 2000, the reason I'm asking, e Radio 2000 even now, um, e, 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 I'm just thinking of a, an example, uh, but uh, Umsagazi from Ikakasi FM, 
uh, was just doing a a a, 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 a Friday evening show, yeah. you know. Mm. But it was with Tatang Zolingani, this is Tatu Mundonjongo, Alex Mtian from Ikakas. So the, those are the type of Abasagas uh, as of Tat. Yeah. Yeah. So in a combozo, it's a born Abagbiza, no more force and Jamam Zagaze. So one of the things I, I, I chat to about with people who know me is that in life, um, besides being keenly aware of who you are, yeah. firstly, secondly, your purpose, yeah, to recognize that some things are there so that you learn from them, yeah. mm, as bitter yeah. or as beautiful as they might be. Um, so learn to connect the dots. Yeah. That's just the line. And in, in answering this, I'm just remembering something I said earlier about how I, I recognize the kind of person I am mm. yeah. and the moves I make are not the moves everybody else would make. Mm. Uh, so, um, it's not exactly an exclusive, but it's something. So let's just say, Umang she kakasi the first time it was nice. Oh, bangas. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And and so now let's cut to ubu 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 msaga as opinion about PM same time problems manager same time no ma ubu. No no no. So I remember the time we yes. that it drive with nong nai. What was it with nong nai? No. Yes, no. yes, oh, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Right. I I I, I returned yeah. to do drive with with Tanole to later. Oh, okay. So, so I I started as 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 programs. As programs. Yes. And then Sam Zamo Ice was balagel. Hey, people. Ice was that one season. Exactly. Yes, I remember. Was that one season? And we revived his career, and then he decided to leave us. Yeah. Love you, Ice. Kind of. Um. So then, I oh here's an exclusive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, being a, a program manager, was like, oh, okay, this is an opportunity. Yeah. What can I do? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I know who can do afternoon drive. Yeah. So what I had planned was to shuffle my, my lineup. Okay. And, and you both remember the lineup. Yeah. Guess who I wanted to do afternoon drive? From the lineup of Le Bacon. Oh, from the Park. Yes. <laughs> Leco. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Leco. So I told the station manager, oh, okay, opportunity, bam, bam, bam. Leco is the perfect fit. Yeah. She said, eh, yeah, but the board has a different idea. I'm yeah. like, how? Yeah. They want you. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm the referee. No, but and I'm, I'm, I'm a manager. Like, no, no, no. You'll do both. I'm like, hey. Yeah, I know. I could be on the bus along with where you do both. So, I, I did both for a start. Okay. And then I quit being a programs manager. Okay. That's interesting. So, when I left, I was just a presenter. Mm -hmm. What led so, to that decision? Yes. Yes. Uten Gonch, Nahamba Gunjani. Yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> that's so what's actually that little stuff. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. and 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 so I, I made the decision that it wasn't aligned with, with what I wanted to do uh, or where I, I saw my career going. Yeah. Um then I decided I let me try my luck somewhere else. Okay. It so then happened two thousand was like buzzing in my ear and then I was hearing names there I'm like ay, ay, ay. you see now uh, you, you have changed my line of questioning <laughs> as I'm listening to you something <laughs> pops up in my mind yeah right now when 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 you when when you and your team started I'll say it's your team because you were leading them you, you were the Where? coach e e yes hey you you <laughs> Now she say court. Show her along the zoo. You, you, you guys did well. Especially Alex and the crew. Yeah, especially Alex and the crew. I remember even Kulket Kumbi saying that uh, on Alex's show when when they had him as an invite. I even remember how uh, Kulket Kumbi uh, uh, landed there. They first had a prank call, uh, been prank, and then the next thing they had him as a guest presenter. Mm. 
and or or Makelo Nebako in Gobanansa Lapana down or Makelo Nebako Old Ford Road. Eh, Babon was going to Zeke as corn. Balan do DJ Smo. Nels can't feel DJ Smo when you steal the PM or Masa in PM. PM. You are still the PM. Kwaba no no mtsele longa na nukufia kwa DJ Smo guni na manbuga in terms of listenership. Zero. Angzanga ube na mtsele. He did something mm. for Ukozi in terms of they took a big gamble. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But for us, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Because nothing. also, I think uh, we were very different. Yeah. And we were running our own lane. There's some sort. Yeah. And, and, and there's only so much Ukozi could do. Because the one yeah. thing Ukozi couldn't do, Ukozi couldn't do. Yes. So, so, so th- they owned Isuzulu. Yeah. Uh, and we were like, no, we can do both. Yeah. And we are very KZN. Yeah. So there was nothing like us. Mm. It was unique. <laughs> now, to finish my, my point yeah. before I forget, um, 2000. Yeah. So I keep hearing these voices, like, no, familiar voice, voices in, in, in. Yeah, we're ready to 2000, yeah. And when then. We changing from a Uber sport, Kakul, and started yes. to have music. And then. Like the things you said we shouldn't do. Nothing to motivate the Aungfagila. No, I just said, how do I contact the station manager? And guess who I called? I called KG Moketsi. Yes, yes, okay. KG Moketsi was on P4. Yeah. She was the program manager I took over. All right. So she was program manager P4. And then when she left for Joburg, yeah. I became program manager of Kakas. Yes. Okay. So I called her. <coughs> okay. And then she said, hey, I'll give you the number. But as usual, it starts a story. Oh. You didn't get it from me. When I think about it, it's going to be 2000. Um, no. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. Because it was Kalito Sheikh, uh, Kathbert Mashiko. Uh, then there's a white dude, uh, executive producer, so yeah. she wasn't there. Okay. So anyway, I called this guy who yeah. I've never met in my life. Yeah. I'm like, hey, introduce myself. Yeah. Now story Sam. Then I said, this is the exclusive. I don't know if it's in my book or not. Anyway, um, I'm hearing great things about 2000. I think I can be a fit. Yeah. However, in my CV is that I've been a program manager. Yeah. So if there's a management opportunity that exists, please yeah. consider me first. Yeah. Then he said, it's actually perfect timing. Wow. Yeah. Because the way we're structured, we are structured, somebody is retiring. Okay. So what we can do, program manager is going to shift one way, where now you'll go and spend a couple of months on air, and then he sends his in. Yeah. I was like, perfect. Wow. Yeah. So I went to Joburg knowing that yeah, there was a management this position. Cool yeah, yeah. Eh. Uh, <laughs> now nah, I won't tell you everything. You need to know. <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have extended the time. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. You, I'll edit it, but you already got lots of exclusives. But the point is that um, when it came time for this guy to retire, as the manager had said. He retired. The program manager knew the plan. And he was like, I ngim dala makos meaning Lindenje Utaptis in Dozako, meaning I'll shift one way and 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 end. So I'm like, okay, so Ubano is out of five. Yeah. Mm. So I Kruman on part. Ah, um party man je Santola Gali Buti Gwenza Galani. And I was like I, guys, I mean, I, I don't play these games. Yeah. In my head, I was like, mm, up. The second thing that happened, was on U Maga Tandolet. Okay. And we used to co-host the show. Mm. Yeah. So every weekend, she'd come down to check on the house. Mm. To Darren. Yes. Okay. And then she was like, Marcos, he hasn't cut it up and down. Why don't we just go back to, to, to Kakas? Yeah. I'll be in KZN and let's pitch a show. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Picture show. Kakasi says, you can come and do drive. Yeah. I get umpatu amnage zaguti eh, he called me, he called his boss. So the way 
it worked at the time SABC. So if you're a boss boss, you handle like maybe five stations. Oh, okay. So, so that's that my station manager's boss handled five or four other stations. All right. So call me to a meeting. And then said, how? Go to your home. Go But uh, from what I hear from your boss, he's got plans for you and Jan, 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 Jan. And I was like, hey, yeah, no, yeah, Moza, man. We, 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 maybe my fault was assuming a gentleman's agreement is something that he can stick to. Go to your one or two, because on the phone or five. Yeah. Oh, one or two, so when's the hill? What's the hold up? Yeah. And they're like, no, hey, we ask these things, the processes, and wada, 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 wada. Can you give us time to maybe look at other options? Yeah. And I was like, I have an offer here from Kakas. Yeah. And I must accept in three days. Yeah. What would you do in my position? Mm-hmm. There was no answer. Mm-hmm. I was like, thank you for your time. And that's how I left Joburg. <clears throat> and my point is this. Um, strangely enough, uh, remember the person who I said was supposed to do afternoon drive on 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 Kakas? Leko. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Bad boy T. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. And remember the person I wanted to do afternoon drive? Leko. Leko. Yeah. Leko had just started at the SABC. Metro FM. Twenty twenty-three. And yeah. on that day. Remember, it was going to be Leko, Penny, Penny and yes. Bad Boy. Yes. He actually came to me on that first day. Yeah. Saying, no, 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 hey, they were walking around with flash mics while so recording my Vox Pops for, yeah. for the station. Bad Boy T, I think you might recall, was there for one day and never came back. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you check the records. Mm, but yes. it was interesting that it was a Kakasi thing just reunited. But the point is... When I told Leko I was leaving, he couldn't believe it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Who in their right mind does that? Going back to Devon. Everybody wants to be in Joburg. Yeah. But it goes back to the point of I mean, if A, I'm very curious and restless. Two, if you say you're going to do something, let's do it. Mm. Yeah. And if it's not aligned with where I see myself moving, I move out. So I had gone there with the management career path. Mm. And had I been 16 or 18, I'd be like, yo, I'm staying in Joburg. It doesn't matter if I don't get this gig. But I was like, I'm tired. I'm trying to get out of radio because yeah. I, I quit to be in management. Level. I want to be in management, you know. So yeah. that's what I did. Yeah. I turned my back on Joburg and came back. I did afternoon drive. Not under it. Yeah. You mentioned Makosu Wutsi. Please talk about my books. How, yeah, we, we, we got, we're going to get there just now. We're definitely going to get there just yeah. now. Yeah. How many times have you been fired? Uh, which stations and what were the reasons? Fired? Oh, that's when they don't renew your contracts and they say... Yes. <laughs> East Coast, they didn't renew my contract. Okay. And they said to me, what shall we write? That you've quit or... You are pursuing greener pastures. I was like, no, greener pastures. So they never renewed my contract. Um, and yeah. Oh, Justice Coast. Justice Coast. Capital Radio shut down. Yes. Yeah, so we're all retrenched. That's one that was clear, yeah. East Coast, I left until they then didn't renew my contract. Kakasi, I left. Nyakumbola went to 2000. Came back. Uh, 2000, uh, I left. 2000, I left. Vuma FM. Vuma, I left to rejoin Kakasi. Yeah. Uh, 702. Yeah. Well, 702, I joined because I didn't have a job. Yeah. And Mang Tabigela, shame. Yeah. But I left them after six months. Yeah. Because Rise FM offered me breakfast. Yeah. Okay. And then I left Rise to come back to Durban and do breakfast on Vuma. Mm. Okay. And then I left Vuma to, because to, to be I was a... Uh, exactly. Yeah. 
I just have a last question on your radio career now. Yes. As 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 we've had, I mean, a long career on radio. Um. So besides, you know, um, having having hosted many many shows, and you've been a manager yourself. What 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 is it that you are proud of? Um. That you feel like you know what? That's one. This this is the, if if anything else, this is what I want people to remember about me. So if nothing else, this is what I want people to remember about me. People will say what they want to say because I, I, I still feel I'm li- living somebody else's dream because this was not the plan. Mm. Um, I wrote a book mm-hmm. and I ended that book by saying, I think, or maybe should have, I don't just want to be remembered as that radio guy. Because in radio, you give to people. Yeah. And I've been giving for over th- yes. three decades. So I want to give to myself. <laughs> and I, I, was, I was denied the opportunity to be a pilot. So what do I want to do for myself? But I, I, I think I'd like to be remembered as somebody who thought differently mm-hmm. and did differently. And that made a big difference. Which oh. book is that one? Oh, sorry. Before I do, I got the books. The, 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 I think I, I, I think I thrive in challenges. Sure. Or what other people see as challenges. Yeah. And I say this because I remember when I, I left East Coast and joined, um, Kakas. Kakas. Yeah. A senior presenter at East Coast said to me, your biggest problem is going to be talent. And I made that my number one priority. Mm. But so when I he fi- said talent, he meant the finding t- finding talent presenters. is going to be the biggest. Because problem. literally, yeah. I was like, yeah. starting next week, I don't yeah. have time to do stuff. Yeah, and I made it my priority to find talent. And but I I wasn't going to find any just any talent. I wanted to find talent that was aligned to the dream or the vision I'd been sold. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, I gave the example of Durban's finest. Yeah. They were hired to do a jingle. I was like, no, these guys deserve more. Yeah. I hired somebody, I actually went back to East Coast, believe it or not, at the time, a lot of program managers had boxes full of demos. Yeah. I was like, can you please give me all the demos you have not used? Wow. I discovered two people there. From those demos? Yeah. That weren't a fit for them. But, you know, uh, one man's meat is another's poison. Mm, So I found my diamonds in the rough. Yeah. So, and, 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 and I think I just, properly understood where the station was going to the point that <laughs> a bit of sweet thing I can tell you is like you're saying it's April season, right? Contracts are renewed. Yeah. I was uh, studying an MBA at Mill Park in Joburg. And uh, one of the, what needs to, needed to happen is that I had to be, I had to be in Joburg like twice a month. Mm. So in this particular week, I drove up to Joburg and Perla was like, there's a presenter's meeting. I need to announce the lineup. Mm. So please send me the lineup. I sent the lineup on my Blackberry in 2006. And she walked into the boardroom and fired people I had never met before and hired people, some of whom I had met. And the story I remember because I told me that when when he got there and he got to the meeting, so I wasn't there. Yeah. He was joking with everybody. You know, yeah. When he gets there, he realizes this is when people are actually being told the lineup. Yeah. And it was like, he felt so uncomfortable. Yeah. Because he wished somebody had told him that no, 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 actually nobody knows what's going to happen. So, but the point I'm making is that I saw people who were not going to survive in where we needed to go. Yeah. And I yeah. let those people go. Yeah. And I think history has proven me correct in terms of what the dream that Kakasi was, what it did, how it captivated people, uh, the, 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 the creativity and the daring things we did. Mind you, a lot of people don't remember and it, it's a nice way to kind of round up this thing of, yeah. of, of, of content creative. When you have no money, you need to make a plan. Lala Tugzi. Yeah. Gakasi never had a huge marketing budget. So the only talent, the only treasure they had was in their talent. Mm. 
Yeah. And because we were new, we could make mistakes. We could be daring. And we did uh, an April Fool's prank. Uh, I think it was at DUT. We did stuff. And people recognized that because it was creative. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. everybody else was doing the same yeah. thing over and over. So something new. Yes. So, so, so when, so I never take someone seriously when they say we don't have money. It's not about money. Yeah. It means you have the wrong talent. Yes. Or have the wrong people in the wrong places. Yes. Who can help you to go further. Anyway, what was your question? You've got three books. Three books, Let's yes. get into that. Right. I'm going to do them in random order. So this, called Kind Regards, is I co-wrote with a, a, a former business partner of mine. Hmm. And it tells the story of when you get into corporate, the dream you're sold hmm. and the horror you're often confronted with. Um, there's a book I loved with a passion called um, Oops, thank you. Called Who Moved My Blackberry and that story very quickly is about somebody who his whole life could be told because of the emails he sent on his Blackberry because he Blackberry had to manga yes. yeah. that you could send so he'd send a message to the wife to the secretary to the one so the book was Who Moved My Blackberry and all it does is detail this guy's life through the emails he sent. Some are one wow. line, some are paragraphs. And I said to myself, one day I'm gonna write a book that's similar to that. So this book, the way it's written, is email correspondence from two employees mm. who join a station at a different time or an organization mm. and their experiences through HR and their superiors. Wow. So, so it's, it's a lot of short emails, but you get the gist yeah. of what's happening through the emails. Yeah. So that's a book. It's co it's a collection of people's experiences in working in corporate, and it just asks a very simple question: Is HR for the employer or the employee? Shut up. Okay. This one is my memoir, right? Mm -hmm. This is my life story. Who wants it? Who wants it? You have that one. <laughs> I want them all. Yeah. So, so that one is 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 literally my life story. Okay. So, if you want to know about me, my journey, my family, my ups and downs, that's a memoir. And as you would know, normally you like I put the phone yes. down. So that's my life journey. This one I, is I suspect some of the things that we're talking about here yes. are in the book. A lot a lot of those. Those. Okay. The, the final one is the A to Z of radio content creation. Now this is is also my attempt mm. to try and rescue radio from itself. Because it's about the content. Yeah. Mm. It's not about the voice, not about the talent, it's about the content. Yes. And content now is over and up. It includes digital. It includes how you prepare. Yeah. What things do you look out for? How do you respond to things? When do you respond? Do you always have to respond? Right? So it's written in an A to Z. So literally under A subject, I give my words of wisdom. So those are the three books I've written so far, and, 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 and it's, it's been an interesting journey. And where do we get them? Uh, hey, so I think you will have to. I have to get an email because there's there's an email address. There's a number. All so right, what's better? I give you a number now. Or? We'll just uh, write okay. it on the bottom. Yeah. So we'll the, yeah the bottom. You'll see there it is now. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 just follow me. It will write it. <laughs> <laughs> or you just follow me on, on, on my socials, that radio yes. guy, ZA, okay. or Makosi Koza, and say, find say, out what I'm about. Say that again. That radio guy, ZA, okay. or Makosi Koza. A lot of people said to me, Um, Makosi Koza, Raban. Because Martin, no, no, Makosi, no, Koza, yeah, Shelly, and it becomes one thing. Yeah. And, and with Makosi Koza, how much, I mean, how, I mean, how do people, call, I mean, how many people confuse you with Dr. Makosi Koza? The, the politician. The politician. Too many. Yeah. Each time she trains, <laughs> people call me. You know, and I kid you not, when she trains, I get DMs from comrades. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when I think she was still in KZN and they wanted to attack her house or whatever. Yes. And people said to me, are you okay? Yes, comrade, are you okay? Then there was another worse one. I got got a call from a journalist at East Coast, Shem, I love you East Coast, kind of. Um, <laughs> and what had happened was, I think 
Oh, Dr. Makosi Koza was on a panel to select the public protector, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And what trend? A boot, I remember. So what the journalist from East Coast wanted to get a quote from me about the selection, I'm like, and then I laughed because I called, I called, because she left a voicemail, Shame, and I called her boss to get, hey, guys. <laughs> I would, have, I, would have, I would have given you a Same quote. name, different person. <laughs> you yeah. know, with your books, um, can I make a promise? Sure. Um, I'm going to read both, I mean, the from I mean A to Z yes. of Radio con- yes. uh, Creation. Is, yes. is that, am I yes. saying right? Yes. And Zola Lelem Saga Zweni from A to Z. Yes. Um, then we'll come back and unpack your books. Oh, please um, do. I think we'll have to have that show yeah. where we just unpack your books because what this show has told us, which we, which we knew already, is that you are radio um if there's one person who's radio that that's my cause cause but i do have some questions just for self-indulgence and we are just to wrap up good one um that i've always wanted to ask the one that i just asked now is was when I mean, that i just asked now was one of those questions yep. another one um how did you end up uh, hiring a good friend of ours since was busy because he was perfect so um, if you'll be listening, I hope this, that the dots will connect. Vuma was moving from that slot. Yes. Weekend slot. It was a party slot, right? Yeah. And DJ Vuma. DJ Vuma. Vuma. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And so I needed to replace him with somebody who did something similar. Mm. So I listened to stations and as usual, went to socials. I go into socials. I see Sizwe. Same time show. Same energy. He's different in his own way. He has a thing called Drive Drive the Sagas. Yes. So he's living in the content creation space. He's not just doing radio. Yes. So in my head, it was too easy. Last perfect. Last question from me. (laughs) Um, Thanks for that. Um, In I mean, you've you've expressed yourself on um, content creators and, and influencers. Yeah. Did you hire any influencers while you were a radio boss? And did you regret it at a later stage? Yes and no. So the influencer I hired was Penny. Penny Dooley. Yes. There's a story training right now that she's not coming back on radio. I mean, to Gagasi next, this season. I know the answer, but I, I'll leave them to, 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 to unpack the story. So, but you see, remember what I said is that I don't have a problem with influences. I have a problem with influences that don't bring anything to the table other than their numbers, because those numbers also don't always arrive at the table. But if the influencer has talent, I don't have a problem. So let me tell you about, about, about Penny. Penny, there's a famous video where she did, a, she went online and Walingisa, I think Sonic or whatever the case was, and like, you know, or whatever yes, the case was. Yes, I remember was. that. Um, and it went from zero to over a million. I don't know where it stands now. So a lot of people would think, that is why I hired her. Because when you look at the, the comments, yeah. I saw Felix was commenting. I was like, oh, my girl, what are you? The next thing on radio. And then he tagged me. Yeah. So I just watched this thing. That is not why I hired her. Okay. That is what got me interested. In her. Then, like I always said, I you went to her. started to follow her. I went to her socials. Right. Then you checked. And you know okay. what she did? Um, it's a second in Tlangani Twa Ba Vundululi. Yes, 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 okay. Blazet. Blazet. Yes. So she went and did a Facebook Live. Okay. And encouraging people to join. Bavundulul. Yes. Okay. I don't know whether she was sponsoring a few people or was saying if you have talent, what, what, what. Yes. She went live for 15 minutes. Okay. Just talking about why you should join this thing and who she's looking for, mm. which is different. From which is what you are looking for. So to understand yeah. that yeah. she's able to tap into the influencer market, yeah, but is able to hold a conversation. I made the example of Felix. Yeah. station. It's a go to after the show. And after 15 the minutes, he's still yeah. talking. Yeah. And it's sense. It's captivating. It's compelling. Yeah. That's content. So that is the influencer I, I hired. Yeah. Specifically. And was I wrong? No. 
because also you must realize that when you assemble a team, different people have different roles. Yeah. You can't all be strikers, you can't all be defenders. Yes. The social media game is big, so if you can get somebody who can add that and lend that to you. I mean, there's, there's one she posted now recently, I don't know when this is going to flight, where she was saying each time I feel like I've seen there's one guy she'll never forget who now became, I think, Baba Waku, security. Oh, security guy. Yeah, I saw that video. Yeah. Yes. How many thousands were there? Like 40, it was ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, I remember the security guy. So, yeah, some people would say we are not colleague. So some people yeah. can do that, but it's talent. It's like it's blessing. Yeah, but if there's a fit for radio, I don't have a problem. And, but and, if, and, and mm. don't even think of that, you know. Yeah. Because if you are working in a radio station with superstars, yeah, you would want to be seen with Ngoba Ulibelu Linganisa Felix. Felix is doing breakfast on Kakase and he's one of the biggest and he's a superstar. Yeah. So you'd want to record a video with, with Felix. Yeah. But she goes for a security and records a video with a security and it just blows away. It's because you need, mm -hmm. when you can't get hold, this, you know when you see yourself saying something deep mm. and you think it's going to be deep and you show it's deep and you, to that point, mm. when you can't get hold of the extraordinary, you need to find the extraordinary in the ordinary. Mm. And that's what she does. That's what's con that's what that's what trends. Yeah. It's something extraordinary, but it's ordinary. Mm. Because we're too used to big things. It's small things. Yeah. I mean some videos trend and it's like a two second nyan or something. Yeah. But if you know that that's an art and a skill and people can do that for you, you need to have those people join your team. Of course, uh, I'm going to buy these three books and uh, enjoy them. Yeah. My, my, my kids and my trust fund, thank you so much. Yeah. We definitely have to yeah. come back here and yeah. unpack them. And, 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 up, and unpack them. Yes, of course. Uh, no, thank you so much. No, for thank, coming you. Through. thank you, gentlemen. It, thank it's, you so much. It's funny, it. though, that it's, it's, it feels like five minutes because I haven't even started. I know. Uh, yes, I know. Like, I know. Like, like, I mean, like I was saying, you are radio, a legend. You've been yeah. doing it for years. So we have so much that we want. Yeah. So we definitely have to do this again. Um, Hope you'll say yes. Hopefully you'll say yes. And also, uh, I mean, we've had guests here. Yeah. But fact is, you are the first guest uh, who's been on all radio stations. Which one you haven't been in? <laughs> to yeah. to, 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 uh, of course. <laughs> no, ra radio R is RSG. Yes. I was about to say Lotus. Yes. Then I remember, no, I was on Lotus. It was for like an hour, but yeah, I was, I was on Lotus. Yeah, you did You did consulting work for Ocozi as well, so yes. it's just the same yeah. thing. You've, yes. you've been yes. there. Yes. There's yes. nothing they've even done. Sunder. Yeah, let's get, out, let's get out of here, guys. Um, Marcos, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe and also to, to share this particular episode. Thank you.